I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm Chris Pajak and this time I am joined by Aubrey Reynolds and Jack Hart Hello. for the build-up show to Liverpool facing Stoke in the second leg of the Capital One Cup half-final, uh, according to Jürgen Klopp. Um, <laughs> it's a big fucking game, this one, boys. Is it the biggest game of the season? Can we roll that one out? Yeah, I think it is. For us, I think we've got to get to the final. We've done all the hard work. It's such an easy win for Klopp. You know, not, not the game, okay. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, if he can get to the final and then win it, in his career already, you know, like um, Jack used the expression, and I completely agree with him in the last show in the f the final word to the uh, t to the Norwich game, which is on the RedmanTV.com. It's two pound a month. First month is free. Yeah, no one's gonna do it if you say it like that. First month is free. <laughs> yeah, but J Jack said he's kind of like the caretaker manager this season because he's he's got a buy, hasn't he? You know, ultimately it's not his team. He can do whatever he wants. If he can win something whilst in this. It's not even my team, period. Who's done that before? Well, I don't know. Who? Oh, I was thinking Rafa in 2005. Well, yeah, 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 of course, Rafa. And, and put a little stamp on, didn't And he? Mourinho went in and won. His, mm -hmm. first, his first trophy was the League Cup, yep. wasn't it? So, it, it's amazing. So, it should be... He should be focusing on this a lot more than other games, I think. Get Winning this, getting us to the final, giving us a day out, giving us... Hopefully a really good day, and then given. Well, us if a we win. get to the final, it's a big game regardless, isn't yeah. it? You know, there's times where we face teams like Birmingham and stuff when it's not as big a game as it really should be. But you know, with Man City or Everton looming, that could be fucking hell of a day out. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. Um, it's I mean, Klopp couldn't have dreamed of a better opportunity. Really. I mean, not necessarily an opportunity because he's you know he's he's seen the team through a couple you know a couple of the rounds of this tournament, but. Um, but yeah, what if we if he does get to the final with us? Then what an opportunity to go and you know stamp your mark on that monkey off the back, isn't yeah. it? You yeah. know he's got the trophy under it. him. People will see that what he can do, and they already they already buy into it, don't they? Yeah. They they yeah. buy into what Jurgen Klopp is as a manager because he's because he's won trophies before, and so it was a much tougher sell for Brendan Rodgers, wasn't it? But look, let's let's focus a little bit on the game because yeah. I, I don't I don't want us to talk too much about. The, the grandeur of the game and stuff like that. We're well, 1-0 up from the first leg, thanks to a Jordan Ibe goal. Um, is there anything, do you think, Jack, that we can learn from the first leg? Or maybe, I don't know, I don't want to lead too much on that, but is there anything that Stoke might do differently yes. after the first leg? What do you think it would be? Um, later on in the game, if I remember correctly, they went yeah. much more aggressive, didn't they? They looked... Um, Walters and Couch came on. Yeah, they looked like the Stoke of old, um, which... I think given the quality through their team now um, is a lot better than the Stoke of old. Um, they can play that plan B but surrounded by <coughs> better players as well um, and be really effective in doing that. So um, I expect a lot more of that from them, uh, you know, add to the mix of the away team as well. So you might expect that a little more anyway. But the fact it looked so effective and that's the kind of approach that we've been undone by yep. regularly this season and beyond really. Um, I think that's what we can expect from them and um, we'll need to be very wary. Do you think that's right then? Do you think that we, we might see a more Stoke-like Stoke? No, I don't you think, think, I don't think, I think he's going to stick to his guns. Second longest serving manager in the Premiership at the minute, Mark, Mark Hughes. Hughes. Yeah, we were talking about that affair, weren't we? And it's just insane because managers just get sacked so quickly. But um, I think what they can do differently is turn up. I think the pressure got to them yeah. in, that, in that first leg. You know, they looked incredible against United just about 10 days before mm. that. I think it was about two weeks before that. You know, they re I, City oh, as well. Altovic, Bohan, I, yeah. Bojan and, um, and Shaqiri. Yeah, and against Man City as well. They, yeah. they, put, they outplayed them. And Chelsea, and Altovic got a couple against yeah. Chelsea as well, didn't they? And you've got Afalayan who plays in the centre position. And then Arnautovic, Bojan, um, Shaqiri. And they were moved. You were. I was nervous for the first leg, and I thought, because oh, oh, I want us to win. I go into every game wanting Liverpool to win, but I want us to win this cup for all the reasons that we've just said. And I was very nervous, and they were awful. And I don't think we'll get that twice. I think they froze. I think the pressure of the occasion, the fact that their crowd were making so much of it, and they're not. They're not a finished article by any stretch of the imagination because a lot of them are new players to that team and a new way of playing, and they really froze. So I think they'll come with the similar setup to what they've been playing recently, mm -hmm. which is more passing game and attacking, but will be better because it'll be hard to be as bad as they were in the first 30, 40 minutes. But they do have a 
that option if they decide to to go a bit more physical and a bit more direct. You know, with players like Charlie Adam could come in, and, and you've got Walters and you've got Crouch. I think I think on the Walters thing, we've done we've actually done a bit of research, and it's not because Paul's not here; it's because Tom did the fucking research for us. Um, Walters is a doubt. Um, apparently, he's out with a knee injury. No return date's been set, according to physio room at the minute. But he played today, and Tom didn't update his research. <laughs> but has now shouted over the monitor with one headphone on his head, yeah. which is a great shot. If you could get that shot for me, please, Craig. No, I'm That'll be you. fantastic. You can't change shot. Come you? on, lads. <laughs> he looks like a weird Mickey Mouse. Basically, yeah. Um, so yeah, all right. So John Walters playing. I, I, I actually. I think I side more with Jack on this one and um, I think that I agree with everything that you've said about them. I think they are a much better team and Mark Hughes has been very set in his ways and I, I think he's right to as well actually. I think he shouldn't be changing his thing but, you know, form book goes out the window in the cup games and all that type of stuff and I think that he played into our hands a little bit. Yes, they didn't turn up in that first leg but having Bojan and um, Shakiri, two players who are both three foot fucking nothing, playing up against Klein and Moreno with three foot nothing, it really played into our hands. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see, maybe not Peter Couch and John Walters, but one of them, to just give them that bit of an option. Like, Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I expect them to start with Crouch, Adam and Walters, but I just wonder whether in approaching the game differently they might do something like play Arnautovic through the middle. Um, high up the pitch rather than on the left where he spends a lot of time. They they put him through the middle in a recent game, I think, and he looked. Um, he, he played, just looked he a more played aggressive through the middle in Chelsea because I watched that game. Like, right, and yeah. he looked very good in that game. Yeah, because yeah. he's that type of man that we can struggle with as well, isn't yeah. he? So it, it is a really interesting. Well, let's focus on it from a Liverpool perspective. Now we've just come off the back of a a brilliantly fun and engaging five four victory over Norwich. You know, what we're looking at, Sunday, Monday, two days rest before the next game. Obviously, the third game's game day. Third day's game day, sorry. You know, how many of our teams do you think will be fit, ready and fighting for it, Aubrey, come Tuesday? How many changes do I think will be made? Yeah, go on. Um, it's a tough one, isn't it? I, f I think he's only going to make... Lallana's to start? Yeah, I think he's only going to make two changes. I think <laughs> Lallana comes in. Colo. For Jordan Ibe, he was pretty much anonymous. <coughs> and I think that Colo is forced to play because the, even though he can't play, there's this thing he can't play that many games at a time. It's becoming, it's towards the end of him having to fill in. Joe, Corker, yeah. Corker can't play for this game. So <coughs> um, he can fill this one and then we can look to rest, play Corker at the back. He's had more time to train with the players and Colo gets pulled out of it for the next league game. So well, I, it's West Ham actually in the FA Cup after that, but yeah. yeah. Um, so I, uh, yeah, and he can't play in that because he will have been registered for us. He couldn't play in, against Exeter, could he? So there's that that time for him to rest. I think yeah, Jordan Ibe comes out and Lallana starts because he made such an impact, and I think Joe Allen starts over one of Henderson or Chan. Who? Personally, yeah. I would drop Chan because he needs to be told he's not undroppable, and he was bad in the Norwich game. It possibly is Henderson because Henderson's the one coming back from injury mm -hmm. and H Henderson got substituted in mm. the Norwich game. What about you, Jack? Uh, I'd be tempted to start with the same two who didn't start the Norwich game, Lalana and Ibe. Uh, Lalana and Allen. Um, I <coughs> wonder whether, particularly with the FA Cup game coming so quickly, uh, then again, Cole can play in that, can't he? I did wonder whether we might see Lucas used at the back again in Torre's place. Um, That's a shot, I've not considered that. But, um, but more likely, I think we'll probably see Ibe replaced with Lalana and um, yeah, probably Henderson, I think, replaced with Allen. And I'll be quite happy, uh, not you know necessarily pleased with the players coming out necessarily, but I'd be quite happy to see his line. You could understand his decisions way. if that, yeah, were, yeah, if that was to be the case. Okay, um, So we've covered how do we think Stoke will do. We've, right, okay, question then. Can we do this? Can we do, can we do what? Can we finish can we go, the can we, can we, yeah, finish the umbu without Paul. Yeah. Um, but no, can, can Liverpool win this game? Can we go of through course. to the Carlin Cup final? Of course we can. Um, <clears throat> I think... We did the hard part, which was go away to Stoke and get a result. Yeah. You know, ultimately we only need to draw the game nil nil, or we only need to draw the game any result, don't we? And we and we go through. So it's give it's give us done. There's three results in football. There's a win, a draw, and a lose, and we we can take two of them now. 
so that's really good for us. Yeah. Um, on current form, you know, we're about the same as Stoke. Stoke aren't great. Stoke got beaten their last match. Yeah, well, they've won three, drawn one, and lost one in their last six. So, uh, s lost two, sorry. Yeah. Won three, drawn one, lost two, because they took a bit and of a heavy de defeat to Leicester, Leicester, didn't they? Yeah, and so I think their confidence will be... I think I think their confidence has took a knock since we beat them in the first, first leg of the semi. And they're not the Stoke that used to come to Anfield and park the bus. They probably should be for this one, but I think... It sacrifices everything Mark Hughes is doing. If you, if, if as a teacher you say we don't do that anymore, we're all about passing football. But this time to get the result, we will do that. It throws, it undermines your philosophy. So I think he's going to stick to his philosophy. And if we can go toe to toe with a team, we're better than them, mm -hmm. and we should be better than them. So of course we can do it. And there's also that Tompkins Times article, which is he's going to feel the majority of a team. This is one of the teams who are about the same height as us, mm. and we do better against teams who are about the same height as us. It's only teams who are much bigger than us that we really, really struggle with. So, of course, we can do it. Will we do it? I don't know. I hope we do, and I've got a feeling we will. I think the FA Cup's the one that is, is going to get sacrificed, and I think the yeah. West Ham game is the one that all of us will take. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, you know, I, I don't want us to ever get beat, but if, that, if we have to go out the FA Cup against a Premiership team like West Ham, but we get to a League Cup final and we do all right in the Europa League... I'll, I'll take yeah. that, I'll take that on okay. the chin and I won't be calling for anyone's head or anything. And let, let's be honest, the way that West Ham have played against us this season, it, would, it wouldn't be that surprising. No, definitely not. Because we've not shown up in both of those games. Um, so Jack... Been shocked um, us, haven't they? They have, they've, yeah. They've, yeah. But let's all focus on that, come on. Let's get back to this. We're going to do st score predictions. Um, so... You've wrote it down already. Yeah, we... Have you wrote your scores down, though, Aubrey? Oh, no. and I haven't ah, got, I've got the permanent see. marker. I've ruined ah, the whiteboard. Ah, you see. Look at you. I think that that's going to be the score. That's why I wrote it down, of course. I believe he's going to get two goals again. So, are we all ready? No. <laughs> Jack, Jack can go first. Are we all he? ready apart from Aubrey? We're going to do it on three this time. Actually, on three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, like right. the you like the substitute teacher? I know. Come into like the class and we're, just not we're not just not taking you seriously. I know, it's true. And All right, so we all have Firmino as goal scorers. 3-1 from Aubrey, Firmino, Lalana, Sacco with Bojan. He's got some funny accent. It looks like a one above his O. Um, and we've got Liverpool 1, Stoke City 1. Um, Firmino and Arnautovic. And I've gone for Liverpool 2, Stoke 0, Firmino to get both goals. And Stoke, for the third time this season, not to score against the Mighty Reds. So they beat us 6-1 at the end of the last season and we stuff them three times yeah. you know, in, a, in a season to fucking have that. To, to pay them back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's good. And again, I completely forgot about that because we have beat them twice. But yeah, we need to. We shouldn't be getting beat 6-1 by a Stoke without being extremely arrogant to Liverpool football club. We should never do that and they would have relished it. So let's break their hearts and, and not get them... Let's break their hearts, yeah. man. Let's yeah. break their hearts. Yeah. Are we going to end the show by breaking Stoke hearts <laughs> and asking for a like and a subscribe because we always do that. And then we always tell you about the rest of the content on the YouTube channel. So check it out. And we've actually got um, some collabs with Bear Pit TV, which is the Stoke City fan channel. So we've got them in the bag. So check that out as well. We've got five reasons Stoke are going to win sat on our channel. And I'll be doing five reasons Liverpool are going to be winning. And that'll be sat on their channel. Uh, really good lad, actually. I've, I've met Elliot a couple of times. I met him at a FIFA, FIFA video g game thing that we did um, down in London. He's, a, he's very good, he's young, he's a hipster. You'll like his channel, check it out. But most importantly, go over there and give him shit in the comment <laughs> section, to be perfectly honest with you. And yeah, as I said, check out the rest of the post pre-match content on the YouTube channel. And you know what? Check us out on theredmantv.com as well. How much is it a month? Uh, two pounds, but it's free for the first month. There you go. Sold. Like that. And comes to hammer. See you later.
Hello and welcome to the Redmen TV. I'm Chris Pajak and this is the Start 11 prediction show for Liverpool's half final second leg with Stoke City at Anfield. We're 1 0 up, we've got a one goal lead. Um, I've done this slightly harsh about it. Um, I've done, I just like to mix it up every now and then, don't I? You know, you know what I like. I like randomness. Uh, I'm going to go with. I put the two keepers up because Bogdan's here. But that's as close to the board as he's ever getting from me from now on. Um, in this game, Ward, I'm sorry, mate, you're coming out. Sam Aminulay keeps his spot. Then, look, look, we're heavily weighted towards midfielders and defenders in this squad, aren't we? And actually,